Alright, in this video, uh, you have to understand the concept of minor and core factor before solve this problem. So in the previous video, I have already uh, talked about the minor of a matrix and the core factor of a matrix. So for uh, for this example, you they say that core factor of five. Ah, uh, core factor of five means refer to this one. Core factor of five. So five is uh, in which what's the location here? So it will be the first row, uh, the first row, the first row, the third column, right? Uh, so the minor for five is 13. Uh, you jot down, it's 13. And two, the core factor, sorry, uh, the core factor for five is 13. And the core factor for uh, two, uh, and two, uh, this one, right? The core factor for two. Uh, the core factor for two means the third row, second column, right? Which is uh, nine, right? Okay, this is the two information given. Then they require you to find the values of X and Y. So, okay, what is the strategies here? So, very simple. You know that for core factor, you have sign, right? Uh, the sign is according to, uh, for three by three is according to this uh, sign here. The sign given here, positive, negative, positive. So for, okay, let's see how. Core factor 13, it's just like finding a minor first. All right, you're finding minor and the minor for, okay, let's say you want to find a minor, okay, uh, without looking at the sign first. So now the first for five, right, for five. So five you're going to, because it's on the, uh, Is in the first row, third column, right? So five. So if you delete the row, you delete the row and the column for five, the row and the column, you have x negative seven, one, two, right? X negative seven, one and two, right? Which is, uh, but you have to check first. This one is positive or negative because one, three, right? Uh, one, three is positive, right? For this location is positive. So this is positive. So it's equals to 13, right? Uh, so we try to solve this part first. So you have x times 2, uh, 2x minus with 1 times with negative 7, which equals to 13, right? So you can find the value of x first. So 13, positive 7, bring over there, negative 7, right? So you have what? You have 6, right? So your 2x is equal to 6, so your x will be 3. Uh, you have to get your value of x. Okay, let's look at the third row, second column. So means the third row, second column, the third row, so refer to 2. So I'm going to find the minor for this. So it will be delete the row, delete the column, right? Uh, the row and the column. So you have 1, 5, xy, right? Uh, 1, 5, x y and for core factor you have a sign here right you have sign if this is a minor the m so this is the minor so to core factor the third row second column the third row second column ah negative right it's negative so you have to put negative in front of this so which is equals to the one given nine right nine <clears throat> so negative nine divided by negative you multiply negative both sides you have 1, 5, xy equals to negative 9, right? So 1 times y, right? 1 times with uh, y, you have y minus with 5 multiplied with x, right? 5 multiplied with x uh, minus, so equals to negative 9. You have know the value of x is 3, right? x is 3, so 5 minus 5 times with 3 equals to negative 9, right? Uh, 5 times 3. So uh, minus 15 equals to negative 9. So y equals to negative 9 plus with 15, right? Negative 5, you have 6. Uh, 6. So therefore, your value of x is 3 and your y is 6. The most important thing is you understand what is the difference between core factor and minor, right? Okay, that's all for this example.